Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do April readings for all the zodiac signs. This reading is going to be for Aquarius. So let's see what's fun. Find out what's going on with you in April 2022. Ooh, Aquarius. We've got the Hermit. The Seeker of Knowledge. The Sherlock Holmes of the deck. Sometimes it means isolation and seclusion, but it, it could be soul searching as well. Guided by his intuition. He doesn't take anything, you know, at face value, do I want to say. He finds out, you know, the ins and outs are information. That way he knows it to be true. He doesn't take, like, somebody's word. Needs proof. Oops. And you get the Six of Swords, the moving away to calmer waters, leaving a situation behind, potentially going to a better one. It could be about moving. Hmm. Oops. Hmm. Now we have the King of Pentacles. Now here's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Or somebody Earth-like, they're grounded, they're practical and methodical. You know, they're good with their coin. And yes, they like to have material things, but they're very approachable. You know, they make you feel like they've known you for 10 years. But they're not going to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. They're not going to sell you 40 acres. You know, they're realists. They'll tell you, you know, exactly at ground level how it is. Ooh. Now, you've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And then possibly Aquarius, we have your energy as well as Libra and Gemini here. Hmm. Bottom of the deck. You get the Nine of Wands, someone who's been in the battle for a while, but they don't give up. Nines being close to a ten being at the end of a cycle. Hmm. Could be a long time waiting for something. But I do believe, Aquarius, that you are trying to gather information, look up things, get info or insight. And possibly about leaving a situation behind, getting the info before you jet. Now remember, this could be your energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family, however it applies. But it's almost like before you leave something alone, you want info. Or you're gathering info. Now, this could be your energy or someone you're dealing with that's Earth-like. Impractical. A well-grounded person. But for some reason, Aquarius, this is not the 50-50 deal. You know, in the upright, this would be, you know, receiving as much as you're giving. This is someone who takes more than they give. Hmm. And then this could be your energy or dealing, you know, with a Libra or a Gemini. It could be even dealing with like a lawyer because they have some sort of stature because they're very, very intelligent. Aquarius, you know, doctors, CEOs, lawyers, successful, you know, uh, business owners. But they put up with no BS. You know what I mean? They, they speak their truth, mean what they say, say what they mean. Motions in the backseat. They don't let their emotions get in the way of any of this. And they're certainly not going to stay quiet if something is unfair to them. Or to you, Aquarius. And maybe this is something, you know, it's been coming for a long time. Waiting for the right time, the right opportunity. Waiting to get info before making a final decision. Hmm. 
Hmm. Definitely needing information though. Not taking something at face value. So what's the hermit looking for here? Hmm. We have the mountain which is being blocked. Hermit. Hmm. Thieves. The mice. Hermit. And a fortress. Now, I always see the fortress as, like, maybe an institution. Or Alcatraz. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's usually, um, it could be a college. It could be, you know, keeping something so well guarded, like Fort Knox. You know, it could be a, you know, a bank, a significant bank. But you might have somebody blocked now because you think they're taking something from you. You, them, them, you. So until you get the info, you know, about shenanigans that could be going on, information might be hard to get. Hmm. Interesting. You know, something could be well guarded or not easily obtained. So definitely you gotta do some digging there. Now, moving away to comma waters, leaving something behind. You could be mentally checking out of a situation, but physically still be there. Get the sun card. This is the most positive card. A bond. That could be, you know, friendship or partnership in a relationship. And navigating. The navigator charting, plotting a course, but knowing where you're going. So Aquarius, you know, you might have had a, a close bond or a friendship with somebody. Seemed very positive. But now you're, you're navigating away from it. So it's on the Six of Swords. You're leaving something behind. Maybe something didn't feel right. Didn't look right. Let's find out why the King of Pentacles is here. King of Pentacles. Ah, is wise counsel. Get the sigh. Cutting something off quickly. King of Pentacles. The navigator steering clear or something. Um. So maybe. You've gotten some wise counsel, you know, just to cut somebody off. Maybe you thought there was something going on because the mice are sneaky. But being blocked or being cut off, maybe by somebody you value. It could even be an attorney if it's an attorney. You know, steer clear of that person. Just came to my mind. Even though they come off, you know, very approachable, you know, seems like you've known them, you know, forever. It could be someone that, you know, you have known for a long time. Or somebody you just met goes either way. But there's something about them, Aquarius, and I think that you know that. Now, six of coins in reverse. The take more than the give. Hmm. Could be about money, finances. Could be about traveling. Traveling to see someone or them traveling to see you. Six of coins. Gossip. Okay. So the chickens on the ground are different than the birds in the trees. The bird in the trees would be more in that, you know, communication, texting, Skyping, all that jazz. But the chickens on the ground is ear to ear, face to face. And this is about the uneven exchange of generosity. You know, Aquarius, you might be, you know, noticing that 
it's always your dime. It's always you going to them and not them coming to you. And you might be hearing some gossip about this, or maybe some people will be like, you know, putting their two cents in. It also could be that somebody only comes around, you know, if there's something in it for them. You know, whether it's money or or anything. Because unless there's something for them where you have to give it up. In other words, you giving more than what they do. It's very off kilter. King of Swords. Whose energy is this? Mm. You have the Harvest card, the Abundance. King of Swords. Swept under the rug. King of Swords. Mm. There's that chatter. That gossip. Email, texting, the Skyping, or whatnot. Then you have the Oak Tree. So, Aquarius, it looks like you're the one. You know that's getting the short end of the stick here. You know, it seems like you're the one that's giving and they're the ones taking it. And this talk and this chatter, you know, and some gossip. You know, um... I do believe the Hermit's got a lot to do with this Aquarius because... You know something's up. You're giving more than you're receiving here. You know, maybe somebody only comes around when it's beneficial to them. You know, but it always seems to be on your dime. You know, do some digging. You know, maybe that this person's, you know, a career user. And you're going to leave this alone. And get that info. Find out. You know, do a background check. Do what you gotta do, Aquarius. And always trust your gut. Always trust your gut. Especially if you know that you're giving a lot more than they are. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see you back here real soon. Take care.